Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that using the Morgan's theorem, find the value of 1 by root 2 plus iota root 2 1 by root 2 whole raised to power 5 plus 1 by root 2 minus iota root 2 1 by root 2 whole raised to power 5. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know our result, and that is the de Morgan's theorem. According to this, if n is any integer, positive or negative, then cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sin and theta and if n is any fraction positive or negative then one of the values of cos theta plus iota sine theta in raised to power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sine n theta. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now using the Morgan's theorem, we have to find the value of this. So here we have to find the value of 1 by root 2 plus iota into 1 by root 2 whole raised to power 5 plus 1 by root 2 minus iota into 1 by root 2 whole raised to power 5. Now let 1 by root 2 plus iota into 1 by root 2 is equal to r into cos theta plus iota sin theta the whole. Now we are comparing the real and imaginary parts. This implies 1 by root 2 is equal to r cos theta and 1 by root 2 is equal to r sin theta. Now let us name it as 1 and this as 2. Now squaring and adding 1 and 2 we get 1 by root 2 whole square plus 1 by root 2 whole square is equal to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. This implies 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to taking r square common it will be r square into cos square theta plus sin square theta. Further, this implies 1 is equal to r square into cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So this implies r square is equal to 1, which further gives r is equal to 1. Now this is the equation number 1, this is the equation number 2. Now dividing. 2 by 1 we get r sin theta over r cos theta is equal to 1 by root 2 over 1 by root 2 which implies now sin theta over cos theta is tan theta is equal to 1 
Now this implies tan theta is equal to, now tan pi by 4 is 1, so it will be tan pi by 4, which implies theta is equal to pi by 4. Now let us name it as A, and we have I is equal to 1, and theta is equal to pi by 4. Now put in the values, of R and theta in A we get 1 by root 2 plus iota into 1 by root 2 is equal to R which is 1 into cos theta which will be cos pi by 4 plus iota sin theta which will be sine pi by 4 the whole. Similarly, 1 by root 2 minus iota into 1 by root 2 is equal to 1 into cos pi by 4 minus iota into sine pi by 4 the whole. Now, 1 by root 2 plus iota into 1 by root 2 whole raised to power 5 plus 1 by root 2 minus iota into 1 by root 2 whole raised to power 5 will be equal to now putting these values here this will be 1 raised to power 5 into cos pi by 4 plus iota sine pi by 4, 1 raised to power 5 plus 1 raised to power 5 into cos pi by 4 minus iota sin pi by 4, 1 raised to power 5. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, now n here is 5 and theta is pi by 4, so this will be equal to 1 raised to the 5 which is 1 and here cos theta plus iota sin theta 1 raised to the n will be cos n theta which will be cos 5 pi by 4 plus iota sin n theta which will be iota sin 5 pi by 4 plus 1 raised to the 5 is 1 and here also cos theta minus iota sin theta whole raised to power n will be cos n theta which will be cos 5 pi by 4 minus iota sin n theta which will be iota sin 5 pi by 4. Now these are cancelled with each other and this will be equal to 2 into cos 5 pi by 4 which is equal to 2 into cos pi plus pi by 4. Now cos pi plus theta is equal to minus cos theta, so this will be minus 2 into cos pi by 4. And this is equal to minus 2 into, now cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. Now this is equal to minus 2 by root 2 and on rationalizing this will be equal to minus 2 by root 2 into root 2 by root 2 which is further equal to minus 2 root 2 by 2 and on solving this is equal to minus root 2. Therefore, the value of this expression is minus root 2. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.